Hey, my name is Roman. I'm a real estate agent here in Southern California. And today I wanted to discuss four cities that you may consider moving to. Now, if you're looking to buy or sell in LA County or Southern California, feel free to reach out to me. Or if you need information about other cities that may be of an interest to you, I'm here to help. All my information is linked in the contact below. First city on the list is West Hollywood. Uh, West Hollywood is a suburb of Los Angeles County with approximately 36,000 residents. West Hollywood is considered one of the top places to live in the county of LA. Let's talk about the location in West Hollywood. West Hollywood is located conveniently to the west side, to downtown Los Angeles, to Beverly Hills and Century City. Because it's so conveniently located to all the top attractions, you're a few minutes away from top restaurants, parks, hiking trails, and jobs. Let's talk about the schools in West Hollywood. Schools are graded between a five and an eight. They belong to the Los Angeles Unified School District, and the rating will depend on where you are located within the city. So things to do in West Hollywood, as far as entertainment goes, you're a walkable distance to many top restaurants. You're walkable distance to the best nightlife in the city or in the county, I would say. Near top parks, top attractions, concerts always happen there. And you're a short drive to downtown Los Angeles to enjoy the nightlife and sports arenas that we have out here. Let's talk about the primary West Hollywood. As of 2023, niche.com gives it a C plus. Let's talk about the real estate market in West Hollywood. Due to its location, median home price in West Hollywood as of November 23 is $1.3 million for single family residents. And if you're looking to get into a condo, you're looking at starting price point, I would say between 800, 850,000. Again, depending on where you want to be, the closer you are, let's say to Sunset Boulevard, it gets a little more expensive. The further away you go, it gets a little more cheaper. But overall, West Hollywood is expensive to live in. Schools are also rated high. So overall, niche.com gives West Hollywood a top rating for health and fitness, weather, things to do in the city, schools, and it's also rated number 37 place to live in California. If you want more information about living in West Hollywood or surrounding areas, my contact information is linked down below. So city number two, let's talk about Santa Monica. Santa Monica is located very close to the beach. Your walkable distance to all the top attractions. There's the Santa Monica Pier, uh, the Promenade. And you can walk or bike all the way to Venice or Malibu. Even take a car ride along the PCH to enjoy the coastal lines, which can take you all the way to Malibu, Pacific Palisades. And if you go a little further out, maybe 30 minutes, you end up in Ventura County as well. So Santa Monica is very well known for its public school system. It belongs to the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District and with niche.com giving it a rating of an eight to a nine. So to give you an idea, Lincoln Middle School was rated number 23 best schools out of California. And Franklin Elementary School was rated number 17 top schools out of the whole California. Let's talk about the entertainment and things to do in Santa Monica. If you're family oriented like myself, Santa Monica has a great Santa Monica Pier, Third Street Promenade with lots of shops, lots of restaurants, ranging from fast food to higher end restaurants. It's very walkable and bikeable. In Santa Monica, you can rent a bike and take the bike path all the way down to Venice Beach. Or if you go the other way, you could end up in Malibu as well. If you're not a walking type, you can hop in a car and cruise along the coastline to Malibu Pacific Palisades or even go as far as city of Oxnard in Ventura County. You can also hop in the car and go the opposite direction and up towards uh, San Diego for which is about an hour and a half to two hour drive, of course, depending on traffic. Prime and Monica per niche.com, it gives it a C plus rating as of 2023. Our real estate market in Santa Monica, if you're looking to purchase, homes are on the higher end, medium price for single family residents. You're looking at about 1.9 million. The closer you come to the beach, the more expensive you get, the further out you go away from the beach, maybe closer to the 405 freeway, it gets a little cheaper on that side condos townhouses again depending on the size you could get a nice two bedroom below a million if you're looking for something bigger you're looking at over 1.2 million 1.3 million and again depending on the proximity to the beach the closer you are the more expensive it will get niche.com overall gave it an a plus rating to live 
it's scored higher in the school district uh, things to do activities uh, whether it's scored lower on the crime on the housing market and cost of living so next up on the list let's talk about city of sherman oaks sherman oaks is home to about 60,000 residents and it's located inside the la county in the san fernando valley its location makes it very desirable because you're very close to the west side west hollywood beverly hills and a little further out to downtown Los Angeles. Schools in Sherman Oaks belong to the Los Angeles Unified School District with a rating from age.com between a seven and a nine. Real estate market in Sherman Oaks is more affordable than West Hollywood and Santa Monica. You do get a little more for your money in Sherman Oaks. Median home prices for single family residents is around the 1.4 million mark. Now, depending on where you go, if you end up going over the hill or over Ventura Boulevard, south of the boulevard, you're looking to spend a little more. If you go north, below the Ventura Boulevard in the flats, you're looking to spend a little less. On average, 1.4 million, you can get a nice condo townhouse in Sherman Oaks in the eight, nine hundred thousand dollar range, which would be maybe a two, three bedroom, 15, 1600 square feet. So as far as entertainment and things to do in Sherman Oaks, there's not much entertainment. You would still have to drive out to the city to West Hollywood, downtown Los Angeles or Beverly Hills. Sherman Oaks does have a lot of restaurants. So it has a lot of fast food restaurants, mom and pop shops, and it also has a lot of high-end dining as well. But the city tends to die out around nine or 10 at night as it is more family oriented versus uh, West Hollywood, let's say. If you're looking to move in or around Sherman Oaks or have any questions about any of the cities I mentioned or maybe have any general questions, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is linked down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. So niche.com gave Sherman Oaks an A rating and it scored very high in crime, schools, things to do. It did score lower on the job market in Sherman Oaks, the weather and cost of living. Overall, Sherman Oaks is a great city if you're looking to get a little more for your money and you still want to be in proximity or close to the city and all the attraction it has to offer. Next up on the list is the city of Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita is located 40 minutes north of Los Angeles and is home to Magic Mountain and Hurricane Harbor. Santa Clarita is known for its high school districts and there are six school districts inside the city. They are rated between a 7 and a 9 per niche.com. Niche.com gave it a rating of a C plus for crime. So as far as entertainment in Santa Clarita, unfortunately, there's not much to do there. It is more of a family oriented suburbs of LA County. Uh, lots of chain restaurants. I would say very little nightlife. Um, it has the Valencia Town Center for shopping. You do need a car to get around in the city of Santa Clarita or surrounding areas. We do have, however, for top attractions, uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain and Hurricane Harbor during the summers. Santa Clarita does get a lot hotter than the other mentioned cities previously. Let's talk about real estate in Santa Clarita. Medium price as of November 2023 is $780,000 for single family residents. Now, those homes are all newer construction and they range between 2000, maybe even higher square footage. So you do get a lot for your money and also you do get a lot of land for your money in Santa Clarita compared to other mentioned cities. And there you have it, a quick glimpse into some of the fantastic neighborhoods in LA County. If you're looking to buy or sell in LA County or Southern California, give me a call. My contact information is linked down below. Looking forward to helping you with your home journey.